Um, and just last year, actually, March 8th of 2020, I got out of rehab. It's when it got to wow. the point. Of, pardon? Wow. Yeah. So it got to the point where, like I said, my kids didn't, you know, want to meet, want to be around me. Um, I wasn't spending time with my nieces or my nephews because I would rather get drunk. Um, yeah. So I, so I pretty much lost everything. And that's, um, like the year before that I admitted that I had a problem and I was working on getting help. But when it came to, um, when I realized that my kids, you know, like they didn't really want me around, they didn't respect me. They were scared for me because I would get drunk and I would leave in the middle of the night and they didn't mm -hmm. know where I was or what I was doing. So yeah, it just got to be to the point where I was losing everything that was most important to me. So I went to rehab and I'm sober now. So how'd you find it? Like, how'd you get finding a job after all that? Oh, well, a job took, um, I didn't look for, start looking for a job until 11 months after I got into rehab because it was, um, there's things that you don't want to, there's certain changes that you don't want to make right away when you become sober. Yeah. Um, because like in rehab, it's, it's not easy, but it's easier to stay sober in rehab because there is no, you know, you can't. There's no alcohol there. There's nothing there, right? So um, when you get out of rehab, that's the hard part because you're put back into society. And for me, drinking is socially acceptable, right? People do it all the time. It's no big deal, mm -hmm. right? So it's around me. And um, so like I had to, like I would, you wouldn't want to get a job right away while you're still trying to learn how to cope kind of on the outside, you know, cope with mm -hmm. staying sober. And you don't want to slap a job right on top of that. That would be too heavy on you. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Yeah. And then working with, um, like, uh, addiction counselors the last year, um, that's really important. Um, staying busy. And I'm actually a part of this one group. And it's a year-long group. And it's three different – it's in three different se sections. Mm -hmm. And that also helps too, like always working on myself. Yep. Yeah. Like I think like I don't, it doesn't like who you are, whether you're an addict or you're not an addict, whether you've done drugs or drank or never done that. I think that people always have something to work on themselves. Do you know what I yep. mean? Right. That's how we yeah. become better people all the time. Right. Yeah. So I, I think it works for the same with me with my anxiety as well. Oh, for sure. Right. So you have things to. Right. Yeah. Always be focusing on and noticing when, you know, being ahead of your anxiety, so, sort of speak. So like knowing yourself, right. Mm -hmm. That's really important. Cause, uh, yep. Cause, uh, yep. The, so, so you're still going to rehab for stuff or just, uh, no, I don't go to rehab, um, anymore. I got to, um, so you guys don't, you don't have to go to rehab even after? No, no, I don't have to go to rehab. Like if I relapse and I start drinking again and it gets out of control, you know, like then I would be go going minute, back. Can you go the minute you start drinking, like before it gets bad? Uh, no, it's a, pro it's a process. Like, that's why I go to the, like, it's a process to get into rehab. Like you have to go to your counselor and say, I want to go to rehab. And then um you have to wait until like sometimes you have to wait two months two to six months to get in and that's why you have an addiction counselor so you can work with them before you get in and after you get in and that's why it's important to keep working on yourself after rehab so you don't put yourself in a position where you end up having to go back to rehab right like just try to stay sober and do things like that's why I do my group mm -hmm. so right? how many days a week do you go to that group once a week, it's every, um, the first session is, um, was, I um, started last year and you go every Tuesday for 10 weeks. So do you have to go, how does that work now with COVID? Um, so our first se session ended right before the lockdown at Christmas time. So we got to finish the first session. And then our second session was supposed to start February, 
February, the but first week of February. Do, do you have to do it for the computer or do you guys actually no. go in person still? No, yeah, we go in person. Like it was supposed to start February 9th, but then it actually just started last week was the first one of the second session. And we, you know, follow all the COVID rules, take our temperature, answer the questions. Uh, we all wear masks. Um, we're all six feet apart. Well, we're more than, we sit more than six feet apart. We all sit about eight feet apart. So I know at work, we're not even doing temperature anymore because they said that they're just, uh, they said it wasn't accurate. Oh, really? Yeah, we yes. do. We do our temperature at um, the group and we also, well, where I work, we still do the temperature. Yeah, because they said um, mine uh, wasn't accurate, so they quit doing it. And they just been asking us, have we traveled outside or what? Yeah. Yeah, we have to answer all those questions as well before group. Yeah, so they, I even had the COVID vaccine already. Oh, really? Because I work at the health center. Oh, you work at the health center. That's awesome. I have to wait. <laughs> Yeah, because uh, the health center gets theirs first, I guess. But we had to say we worked at the hospital when we worked at the health center because health center is not an option in their list. Oh, really? That's surprising. Like, I would think that it should be. I would I think that so any. Too, but my boss yeah. is like, no, you don't. You don't tell them that because uh, it's not an option out of their list. No. I'm yeah, like, that's. that's that's odd. Yeah, that's surprising to me. But at least, at least you were able to get it. That's yeah, awesome. I got the one. I'm getting the sec. I was getting the second one as of April second, but then they texted me and said you gotta wait to get your second one for some reason. And it's not that they're not doing it; it's just that they're doing it at a later date, whether it's April or June. Okay. Or May. I don't remember when the second one is, but uh, it didn't matter when the second one was. As long as we get the first one. Yeah. Like, I always went to, like, we had book club and stuff at work. So I went to them whenever we weren't at, whenever I wasn't working. Because I thought it was good to help me learn how to read a bit. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And that's what I was talking about. Stuff like that, right? Still working on yourself. That's, that's good. It's important mm -hmm. to do that because you make, you know, that's how you make accomplishments and feel good about what you're doing, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. 